So in this situation, what I have, uh, the way the layout is, is I have an outlet, and then I've got to come up from the outlet to a switch. And so we're setting our switches at 48 inches, which there's a mark there. There's a mark here. There's also a layout here at nine inches and up top at nine inches. So what I'm gonna do is mark nine. And actually we go top of box at 48, so I go 46. And in this situation, we're going 16, right. top of box. <laughs> So we have a, a vertical chase at this point, and then we also have a horizontal chase. So now I'm going to come up to the switch. So you see you've got your, your vertical and your horizontal, and they meet perfectly, so your wire actually can transition with, with relative ease. So we've got a chase right here. And if I just reach over, grab my wire. And in this situation, what I do when I'm fishing down is I have my string already attached to my wire. It also gives me some pliability. And in the future, it gives me the option of running continuous wire down there. So that is how I would pull down. Now, if I want to continue this run, and come around the corner to another outlet. I just pull this long until I reach the end. That's my switch. Take my trusty hook. So now I've got my Horizontal hole, I stuff my wire in there, stick my rod, so I've got my string, but I don't want to go into here, I actually want to transition to this point, so I've got a string out. I catch my string here. Push this down to here. So then what I've done is I basically just suck this string back up through here. So now I've got a string from there to there. I pull my fish stick back. I tie my wire on. So I've got a continuous string where my two sip walls line up. And I, I pull my string through here. leaving a tail here for my outlet, and then I got an outlet there. So that's how I would transition from a sip to a sip, and then transition up to a switch.